which is the non-circumvention, non-disclosure and confidentiality agreement. This is also commonly referred to as a joint venture agreement. All right. I had somebody blowing me up <laughs> the other day and they were like, I need help filling this out. And I'm like, dude, it's three lines, man. It's your name, somebody else's and like, one other thing, <laughs> I mean, uh, it's pretty easy to fill out, but now let's understand it a little bit more today. Okay, so let's understand it. The non-circumvention, what does that mean, guys? In a nutshell, that means you and your JV partner are agreeing to not go around one another. <laughs> yeah, 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 go around each other's backs. Yeah, try to steal his property deal from him. Yeah, he's trying to steal your buyer. Yeah, you guys are great partners. Yeah, well, a non-circumvention means I'm not going to go around you. And then it's also a non-disclosure and confidentiality agreement, which means I'm not going to share your secrets, Mr. JV partner, and you're not going to share my secrets. Non-circumvention means you're not going to steal my people. And non-disclosure and confidentiality means you're not going to share my secrets. Okay, you're not going to steal my list and run off with it. And you know what I mean? This agreement entered into on this blank day of blank 2020, 2019, whatever it is, is for the professional association and arrangement of non-circumvention, non-disclosure and confidentiality between blank. That's you whose office is at, and maybe I should put in there in parentheses, you. <laughs> oh, I take it for granted, guys. I've done these so many times. I take it for granted. You know, you can figure this out, but it's not always obvious. Sometimes you, if you just ask me, hit me up, <laughs> text me, you know, grab me on Facebook, say what's going on here. Uh, okay. Confidentiality between you, whose office is at your address and your JV partner, whose principal place of business is at the address, here and after called the parties. Yeah, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party. The parties with this agree to respect the integrity and tangible value of this agreement between them. <laughs> very flowery gracious words <laughs> i love it all right now these parties are going to respect the integrity and <laughs> this agreement in big letters this agreement is a perpetuating a guarantee for five years you might need to edit that from the date of execution and is to be applied to any and all transactions present and future of the introducing party, including subsequent follow-up, repeat, extended, renegotiated, and new transactions, regardless of the success of the project. That means anything we're working on now and for the next five years, if, if, you, if you somehow got this deal, if, we, if it didn't work out in the next six months for you and me, but then somehow in the 10th month, you pulled it off without me knowing, you still owe me. Okay. You might not want to make it for five years. Now, this is a time-based non-circumvention, non-disclosure and confidentiality agreement. But now listen, right below that paragraph, you'll see it says, uh, well, let's finish the paragraph first. The introducing party blank, Oh, that's you, okay, introducing your buyers, or it could be you introducing your property deals, is entitled to blank percent profits from any successfully closed and funded real estate transactions using the introducing party's introduction. In other words, if you're going to use my buyer, you, uh, you got to pay me a certain percent of any deal that we do on any buyers I introduce in the next five years. Now that's time based. You see, it's uh, it's time based over the the next five years. Now, if you don't want that 
to be the ruling factor, then below that paragraph, it says, please check box if applicable. This agreement is limited to referred buyers for property address blank. If you're just wanting to do one address, one deal with this JV partner and never again, never anymore, then check the box and put the address down there, right there. Don't forget to put in, you know, what your, what your uh, percentage is for pay right here. And don't forget to come up here and change the five years to 90 days or six months or whatever, what have you. Okay. Now, if you want to do more than one deal with this guy, a bunch of deals, then you're going to want to put down nothing in the agreement is limited to referred buyers for property address. Leave it blank because you want it to be a blanket, not one limited address. Okay. Because of this agreement, the parties involved in this transaction may learn from one another or the principles, the names and telephone numbers of investors, borrowers, lenders, agents, brokers, banks, lending corporations, individuals, and or trusts or buyers and sellers here and after called contacts. Yeah, I've got my contacts. I got my buyers list. Is Kat's going to try to steal my buyer off my buyers list? No, 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 no. Signed an agreement. Okay. Oh, this guy's going to try to steal my property deal and go around my back and talk to the seller. No, 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 no. That's your, that's your contact. The parties with this acknowledge, accept, and agree that the identities of the contacts will be recognized by the other party as exclusive and valuable contacts of the introducing party and will remain so for the duration of the agreement. Now, don't go around me. Now, below that, the parties agree to keep confidential the names. In other words, he's not even, he's not going to steal it. He ain't even going to whisper it to nobody. Don't tell my secrets. Such confidentiality will include any names, addresses, telephone, telex, facsimile, and or other pertinent information disclosed or revealed to either party. The parties agree not to disclose, reveal, or make any use of information during discussions. They won't write, print, paint, stamp, or stain <laughs> any of this. All right. Now. Further down, the parties agree that due to the many variables around each business financial transaction that will occur because of this agreement, the commissions to be paid or the fee structure between the parties can vary. A separate fee commission agreement will outline compensation for each business financial transaction. You see where I'm reading that? Right here at the very top. <clears throat> What's it saying? It's saying that I am going to have another piece of paper that shows on each deal what I am to be paid. And you might be going, okay, well, what is that? What is that? Okay, let's talk about it. The rest of this is a lot of mumbo jumbo. It's really good. You, you need it. You should use it. But what I'm talking about is an invoice, and that is right here now you can see i've blacked out some of my private information this is an old one from way back in the day i guess when you go have your buyer sign the assignment agreement and the assignment agreement then has to also be signed by your JV partner, if he's the one bringing the property deal, then it is intelligent for both of you, no matter which direction you're going, if you're the property bringer or if you're the buyer bringer, to have your invoice drawn up at the same time as the assignment agreement and have both you and your JV partner sign it. Now, this is an additional document to the JV agreement that states for this particular transaction what your share means in dollars and cents. And he's going to sign it and it's going to be filled with instructions to the title company on how to pay you and where to send the money. Some people are like, oh no, an invoice. What do I do? What's an invoice? How do I get an invoice? An invoice is a letter. That's all it is. 
drop the fear factor out of it, it's a letter. An invoice is a letter. That's all I did is I went to Word and I drew this up. I've had people say, can you send that to me without the black crap on it so that I can edit it? And guys, it's a letter. You know, like you're going to have to edit it anyway. You're going to have to put your, ad your address on the top, your name on the top. Uh, reason, blank buyer. <laughs> okay. What's the JV partner's name? The buyer. Or what's your, your buyer's name? Either one will work here. <laughs> All right. Property address. What's the address of the property? To whom it may concern. Thank you for all your hard work on this transaction. Please remit to, this is going to be you, all right, in the amount of blank. This is instructions on how to pay you. You should be able to fill this out and know what these numbers are once you have a, an assignment agreement locked in with a buyer or an agreement, and he's going to sign the assignment agreement then have this one signed at the same time, you and your JV partner. That way you have a joint venture agreement, but you also have a separate document with instructions on how you are to be compensated for this particular real estate address transaction deal. All right. You should be able to fill this out with that amount of blank. You should be able to know what 50% of the assignment fee is at this point, okay, in the transaction. Now, please wire funds to Equity Bank. Now, <laughs> if you're listening to me out there and you want to wire funds to Equity Bank, go, go ahead. Um, you can put my name down there. <laughs> All right. You want to put your bank address here or you'll want to put your address and say, mail me a check. I don't know how you want to collect your money, guys, but put it here. I like to have mine wired. Look, it says down below, if wiring the funds is not possible, the check may be mailed to our above address. It is possible for us to make arrangements to pick it up. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. In other words, I want to get that money. Let me know. And then I sign it. Now, what is it missing? It's missing another signature. Right here, it needs to have a signature that needs to be the seller, not the seller's signature, but it needs to be the JV partners. Man, what's, what are you doing to me, Google? No. Yeah, it needs to be your JV partners. <laughs> okay. Once you and your JV partners sign that agreement, you are good to go. Good to go, baby. Yeah, that's right. You're good to go because you've got to purchase.